so welcome all to today's video. Um, in the other video I mentioned I'm using our T2 built from source Linux for all my needs while T2 mainly focuses on embedded and server use. Of course you can also use it for the desktop. So the website is t2-project.org. You can get information about all the architectures we support from oldest alpha to AMD 64 over ARM, MIPS, PowerPC, Spark and so on. And it's also been a while since we made a binary release and I need to test the new image. You can download a binary ESO from our website. Uh, in the last years we usually published minimal ESOs that are some 300 or so megabyte for some core base system. And that's what I'm going to test install. You can either write it to an optical media for installation in good old PCs. We also have a script to convert this to a USB thumb drive and many people will, like my test today, certainly start this in VMware or something like that. So when you boot installer media you can choose between booting this installer media or your installed system from the hard drive. This loaded an initial RAM disk. So if the installer media is not found you can also choose uh, to load things from network or a local drive and so on. For very old low memory systems even activate swap already at this point and the installer script tries to find the installer media from USB storage or good old fission optical media. In case of um, there is an issue you can even at this point drop to a shell and do maintenance work um, and because T2 is a very thinking about corner cases and expert use you can even choose what terminals to run here. So the default is a handful of uh, virtual consoles. You can also just use console or serial TTY and so on and so forth. Just presentary. At this point, basically, you already have a fully working minimal system running in the memory of your PC and you could do maintenance tasks. To install T2, you run Stone, the setup tool 1. Keyword mapping, none is fine, and then you partition the storage media. And again, so T2 is focused to build products like a access point or router, firewall, and file server, things like this. And so normally an end user is not installing this. We have a very minimal installer, like keep it stupid simple, with no frills and so on, that is doing the bare minimum. So you can partition for this, use the regular tools here, like CF disk, DOS format, um, new partition, all the size, primary, write. Are you sure? Yes, we are sure. And so we are not trying to reinvent the wheel and we keep this to a bare minimum. Um, create a file system. You can even reuse the existing file system, but we create one. Um, let's use extended four, mount it to a root. You can have multiple mount points there, but we keep it super simple for this. Here you can choose alternative media and so on. But we just run this guess GUI package min star, full install, install everything. That's more or less it. Of course, we are aware that Ubuntu and Fedora Suzy are more graphical and intended for Joe users. But this works and you have a total control over this. You see what is going on. Our packages, this binary packages, if you choose to install something from our pre-built example binaries, are just tar archives. We are probably also the first to switch to the new set standard compression that is compresses more and is faster. So the installation of T2 is now faster than ever before because before that we used BSIP2 compressed archives that were smaller than gzip compressed archives. However, extracting was slower. So the set standard usually compresses more and is enormous, like 10 times faster to so decompress. So the setup tool one created some FS tab with, uh, with the regular entries. That's fine. Keyword mapping, don't need any. Password, use one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, fine. Uh, locale, I don't need a locale. So t this setup to one also configures a bootloader and the bare minimum configuration. Yes, install it. I have nothing else here on uh, this virtual system anyway. So and after this quick and stupid simple installation, 
we can unmount the file systems and reboot now. At this point, you could even choose not to reboot and manually change root in the installed system or do whatever other maintenance task you would want to do. On a fresh reboot, this is a boot entry configured by the setup tool. You can just boot it. That's it. You have your small system. You can log in with our 123 password. If you would want to use the system, you would set up network, auto configure with DHCP, yes, yes, yes. In it 3 with network. Network works. And so to use the system, you would then check out the source tree of T2 to be able to build packages from source. This is similar to other source distributions. We actually also call it emerge package and you can build all the packages you may want including X server and such desktop environment. We have way over 3000 packages of which half can be cross compiled. So you can cross compile T2 Linux systems for ARM, MIPS, PowerPC and whatever you may be using on your do-it-yourself tinkering projects for ARM boards. So I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information visit the website at t2project.org. If you have open questions, just ask us on the mailing list. I hope you enjoyed the video and see you soon.